Once upon a time, there was a poor miller who had three sons. When the miller died, the first two sons greedily took everything and left the house. He only left behind the cat for the third son. The son was very sad. He loved his father the most and wept for him and said, I have nothing but this cat. I will eat him and then soon I shall die too. Hearing this, the cat said, Master, please give me a bag full of carrots and grain and see what great wonders I can do. Please give me a coat and your boots too. The miller's son gave the cat all that he asked for. Puss in Boots now set off for the jungle. He laid a trap with carrots in it and caught a rabbit. Puss in Boots also caught a couple of birds with the grain his master had given him. Puss in Boots then went to meet the king. He presented the birds and the rabbit to the king and said, Your Majesty, these are gifts from my master, the Marquis of Caraba. The king was very pleased with the gift. On his way back home, Puss in Boots passed by some fields where harvesters were working in the sun. He commanded them, If anyone asks you whom this fields belongs to, you must reply that it belongs to the Marquis of Caraba. If you do not agree, I will get the ogre to eat you all up. The workers were frightened of the ogre and agreed to do so. When Puss in Boots reached home, he told his master, Master, you will be meeting the king soon. Do as I say. Go to the river nearby and have a bath. The man did as his cat told him to. He took off his clothes and jumped into the river. Puss in Boots immediately took all the clothes and hid behind a rock nearby. When King's carriage passed by, the cat went up to the king and said, Your Majesty, my master is drowning. Some thug robbed him of his fine clothes and pushed him into the river. Please save him. The king, on hearing this, commanded his servants, Save the Marquis of Caraba and give him the finest clothes to wear. They did as he told them. The cat and his master were very happy. Now, when the carriage went past the field, the king stopped by and asked the workers, To whom do those fields belong? They replied, The Marquis of Caraba, your majesty. The king was very pleased to hear this. In the meantime, ran ahead of the king's carriage. He went to the castle of Olite in Spain. There lived the ferocious ogre. The cat said to him, I've heard of your mighty powers. I've heard you can become anything you want to. The ogres laughed and decided to show Puss in Boots all his powers. He replied, of course, and instantly turned into a lion. Then the ogre became a monkey and finally became his real self. Now the clever cat challenged. I'm sure you cannot become one of the tiniest creatures in the world. You can never become a mouse. The ogre was enraged and said, watch this. Saying this, he turned into a tiny mouse. Puss in Boots quickly pounced on him and ate him up. When the king and the miller's sons reached the castle of Olite in Spain, the cat said, Welcome, your majesty. This is the castle of the Marquis of Caraba. Hearing this, the king was very pleased. He asked the miller's son to marry his youngest and loveliest daughter. The miller's son knew that the king's daughter was very beautiful and agreed. Soon they were married and lived happily ever after in the castle of Olite. Moral, there is a great advantage in receiving a large inheritance, but diligence and ingenuity are worth more than wealth acquired from others.